of the dirty work. And at last Sunday's All-Star Game, his hard work paid off. Buck Williams is no longer anonymous. It's kind of unrealistic to think that it's happened just over one, uh, one Sunday because I've been doing it for four years now. So I'm just a blue-collar worker that goes out every night to get the job done, and you can count on me uh, when the chips are down. Buck picked up that attitude and the game in Rocky Mount, North Carolina from an unlikely teacher before he took his skills on to Maryland. I learned at a very early age about the, the power game from my sister. To my recollection, she was probably strong, stronger as I was at that time, too. So uh, we had a lot of good one-on-one -on -one battles. We would get out there and fool around in the yard a while and, you know, have these chores we're supposed to do. But, you know, got to get the chores done before Mama come. But we're going to play basketball first, you know. Because we always told him, he'd be playing. We'd say, get that rebound, but get that rebound. You know, we'd be cheering around. We'd be standing up and just hard, you know, and going, going. We was just having a good time. Buck's not only having a good time now, so is his growing army of fans. But while this should have been Buck's week back home, he took a back seat to the problems on the team, not the successes. The media is always looking for a uh, drug story. And I feel as though, uh, I'm a pretty strong role model for the kids, and every time I turn around and pick up a paper, you know, it's Quentin Dale or it's Michael Ray Richardson uh, from coast to coast in every newspaper about drugs. And I just hope that some of the other players who deserve the credit uh, out there on the floor and also as a person start getting some of the type of recognition they get for using drugs. As a person, he is getting the recognition. A couple of commercials. Come on, ball. Come on. He's one of those guys who leaves his work at the plant and comes home to unwind. Well, playing the piano is something I always wanted to do. But uh, it's something that's really good because after the game, it relaxes me and helps me unwind. And once I learn to play a lot better, uh, maybe Dick Stockton and I have a, a recital. <laughs> Meantime, his best recitals are on the court, but we should take notice of all his talents and even wisdom. I mean, it's a simple uh, down home country boy. I think the most important thing is to have peace of mind and appreciate, you know, who you are and what you have. And I think you know, that I've done a pretty good job of trying to do that.